Hello, welcome to this special documentary highlighting the importance of Love Lights the Way, Lighthouse Village Church of Christ, a non for profit organization based in the United States. Located in Fender Moss Royal County, the church has a total of about 150 members, including young adults, women, and children. At its welcoming ceremony recently, members of the congregation, in a joyous mood, thanked the Almighty God for the safe arrival of one of its vision barriers, Brother John Carr. God will continue to shower his blessing upon him and the rest of the brethren who have been their best to make sure that this community see light. So this one that we say welcome and feel free as we welcome and praise our Lord. Formally welcoming Brother Carr, the puppet minister of the congregation, Brother James Sagan said the idea of establishing Lighthouse Village Church of Christ in Liberia was brought about through the Almighty God first with the help of Brother Carr and others in the United States as a way of impacting lives and communities in the Fender area. I want to formally, on behalf of the Lighthouse Village Church of Christ, and the members and the community of the Lighthouse Village. Welcome you, Brother John Carl Jr. to Lighthouse Village and Lighthouse Village Church of Christ. Praise the name of Jesus. God is good. All the time. All of the time. God is Great. Today is a very special day in our lives. A day that we have always prayed for. Now, Brother John Carr, who sits here with us today, with the help of God first, and some of the people he talked to, this idea of having love that's the way, a non governmental, a non for profit organization, was giving breath to in the United States. Ever since then, we have been involved in making sure that we have a church here, we have a mission over there built, and then we have an evangelist here who, of course, I am. And every time, from that time, 2015, when we came here and preached at Brother Clement's house and baptized over 20 people, we have been meeting here all the time. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Today, Brother Carr is here with us. Amen. He's here to see how we're doing. Amen. He's here to see how things are going. In Jesus' name. Amen. And his presence here, of course, there's a little thing that we need to even share afterwards. We have some trucks here. So when the last cutting falls, and another truck there, and we'll be distributing them too. These are the words of God, because we gather here principally to share the word of God with you. Every time we meet, we seize that opportunity, in Jesus' name. Amen. You carry these trust and you share them with people as well. Also speaking at the program, the president of the organization, Brother John Carl Tank, members of the congregation, for complementing the efforts of the church. He said the building will be completed on or before the drought season and called the residents to take ownership of the property. I bring you greetings from the entire Love Lights the Way family. Yes. And on behalf of the board of directors, Amen. And all our AP members in the United States, Amen. I bring you greetings. And I'm very glad to be with you today. Amen. This is a great day. Mm -hmm. I've been away from Liberia. I remember when we first started this work. Uh, I came 
and it's been almost nine years. I'm just coming back to Liberia. It's been a while ago when I met Brother Gene Sick at, at GSRO. Yes. Church of Christ. And they were worshiping in a very old breakdown building. Mm -hmm. And I remember I preached that day. And Brother Gene Sega was the assistant minister. And I told Brother Gene Sega we are trying to establish a mission in Liberia. A mission that will benefit all Liberians, especially those members of the Church of Christ. Amen. Because we found that they had nowhere. We found that they had nowhere to meet, they had nowhere to fellowship, they had nowhere for conference. And I told him, I said, brother, you all will benefit from that. Amen. And I can recall when my fellow board member, Brother Ryan, Brother Horace, and Brother Ron Brandner and, and Laura, they all came here. I was away. And when I saw the video, I saw Brother Gene Sega on the video. And I said, I, I think I know him. And Brother Gene Sega has been working with us since that time. But I also bring you greetings from the Providence Church of Christ. Amen. Providence Church of Christ is I would say, a Liberian congregation in the United States. Amen. Amen. We, we are the biggest congregation in the whole state. Amen. Amen. And, I, and I am the minister for that congregation. Amen. So I bring you greetings from your brothers and sisters in Liberia. Amen. Amen. We always remember you. Yes. We always pray for you. Amen. And we love you to the bottom of our hearts. Amen. If we did not love you, we won't be yet this yes. day. Yes. I did not come on my own. I came in the name of love, life, the way, and the providence of the Church of Christ. Amen. And, and so I came to listen to you. Yes. Because I get all the report. Yes. Brother James Sick, I send a report. All the different departments report to me, we all go through our board meeting. Yes. But to come to see you in person, I'm so happy to see that. Amen. And I can say this to you we are paying for this place for you to the worship. Amen. Yes. Soon and very soon, you'll get one of the biggest church of Christ to worship in. Amen. Maybe you may understand why it's taking too long. But for every work you do in Liberia or overseas, you need money. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we have to go and raise funds mm -hmm. to work down there. But it's not only that. Sometimes the condition in Liberia makes the work go very slow. Yes. Mm -hmm. We are very far away and we trust people to do the work as we send the money. Yes. And so we are trying our best. If you went on the site now, we're trying to put a roof on the building. Yeah. If God is willing, uh -huh. And we have the faithful man to do that work. Yes. We are praying by God's help. Before the next dry season, mm -hmm. you'll be worshiping in that building. Yes. And I will encourage you, every member, yes. to take that building as your own. Yes. 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 Go and visit the building. Yes. If you see something that is wrong, you tell your minister and the minister yes. will tell us. Yes. You own that building. Yes. Yes. It is for you. Yes. You take position of that building. Yes. Because you know what? What we are doing yes. is in the name of God, but it's also for your benefits. Yes. Yes. When you're passing around, stop there and see. Yes. Say how did the workers are there. Yes. If you see things not going right there, yes. you tell the minister and the minister will let us know. Yes. That building is yours. Yes. We are trying to do our whole place as a community center. Yes. Where we have medical building down there. Yes. Your minister and this church yes. is going to get a brand new truck. Yes. The visit of Brother Carr to Liberia did not only bring smiles on the faces of members of his organization, but also the community at large as food distribution was the order of the day. Here now is some beneficiary of the food distribution process to be followed by a special interview with Brother Carr. Amen. Getting food from Church of Christ today, and thank God for our minister that come from the state. Therefore, be on you. You always think about us. 
Because we have been wishing to see him to come and see us. How long have you been in the church? I've been in the church as my four years now. So you want to do more? Yes, I want to do more. Thank you. Well, well, my name is John Carr. I'm the president for Love Life Story and also minister for the Providence Church of Christ. Uh, I came to see the work, to inspect the work uh, that we've been doing here. Uh, as you can see behind me, there is a uh, distribution of, of food to the community and members of the uh, life of the Church of Christ. Uh, I've been meeting with them today and uh, on uh, general discussion and also one-on-one -on -one discussions. Um, we are yet to also see what we can get a truck, a pickup truck for the work in Liberia. And we'll be going tomorrow to, uh, uh, to check around the Viria uh, dealership to see what we can get a uh, pickup truck. As you can see, there's so much provision was brought today, and most of the community people and members of the church are here to, to collect provision, food, and other stuff. I uh, want to say thank to uh, West Station Church of Christ for helping us to uh, with the donation of the $4,000. Uh, this is where we use the money, and I want to say thank you all for your wonderful contribution. Uh, I will be leaving to go up to uh, Ganta to see the work up in Nima County and you'll be seeing more video from us. Thank you so much. Are you impressed with the membership of the church looking at the, the membership? I'm very impressed. impressed. I'm really impressed with the uh, with the membership. Uh, just to see the crowd alone uh, in the building, it was too small for us to, to accommodate us. Uh, the membership is growing. They have about 100 members. Uh, they have on a regular service. They have about 75 regular attendants. Uh, and we have so many people, uh, kids and, and women, and, and they are very, very eager to do the work. And I'm so, so joyful, grateful to God for the wonderful work He's doing amongst us. Message are you caring about looking at the living condition of the people? What message are you taking back to the states to your to your colleagues? Well, I, as someone who represents Love of Life Story, I mean, we, we are here to help the community as a whole. We cannot help all individually, uh, but the living condition is not easy. Uh, just the, uh, the rural condition alone, uh, it's not easy, and I'm so glad that we're going to get a truck for this mission. Uh, but just the uh, the situation, I saw an uh, old man uh, in there, um, one most maybe in his 80 years, that have a very bad infection. And love last year we're going to see if we can try to take care of that infection before I leave from there. We'll be seeing we'll him to the hospital uh, because he got injured in on one of the chairs in uh, the edifice. And so I'm going to try to see if we can send him to the hospital before I leave the before I leave Liberia. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Well, that's just about it on this edition of a special feature highlighting the importance of Love Lights the Way, Lighthouse Village Church of Christ, a non-for-profit organization based in the United States of America. This has been Adrian Papa saying bye-bye for now.